Right, so thank you for coming. Um, so this series of debates um, have been organized by four different uh, partners. Uh, we have IDA, um, whom I'm representing today, uh, Brussels debaters, who are going to be the ones debating in front of you today, the Solvay Debate Society, represented by Clément, um, who uh, help us to organize this room, so thank you very much. And Debating Europe, who, uh, was it two or three months ago, who approached us and said, why don't we uh, have debate um, all together, because we are doing it on site, and after uh, have um, the debate uh, filmed, and after posted on the internet, and continue the debate online to reach a wider audience. So as you saw, we are going to be filmed and uh, during the whole debate. So what I'm going to do now is, for those who are not used, and, and I, I believe that most of you are, used to um, um, debates and also how we are going to organize the debate today, I will just go through the rules of the game. So there, are, there is two teams of three speakers with limited time. So we have one team who is in favor of the motion, and one which is called proposition, and one team with against the opposition uh, against the motion, sorry, which is called the opposition. Just that this is just for today. Some people decided to be against the motion. Uh, and the other team is for the motion, but it doesn't reflect their own personal view. They are they've just searched more in details about arguments for the motions and arguments against the motions. So for the team uh, with for the motion, we have Peter. Peter, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Peter, uh, Kilian, and uh, I'm sorry, Lorian. So who is going to be for the motion? Um, against the motion, it will be Gilles, Joanna, and Benjamin. Right. I have to. Okay. Um, each speaker will speak once for five minutes. Um, the audience can ask questions and make comments for five minutes as well. There is a moderator, myself, and the timekeeper, Clément, who is there. Um, as I said, the debate is recorded uh, and posted on Debating Europe's online platform and uh, to reach a wider audience and also policymakers. Right, how it works. A little uh, gimmick so that it's easier for people to understand how it goes. So first, we have the first speaker. So introduce the motion define important terms, provide argument to support the interpretation of the motion. The first speaker who is against the motion refute the first proposition's argument, establish his her team's argument, and provide arguments to support their side. Second speaker, refute first opposition's argument, rebuild and defend the first proposition arguments, and provide additional arguments to support the motion. Second speaker in the opposition team, refute proposition arguments, especially the new arguments, uh, rebuild and defend first opposition argument, and provide new arguments to support uh, his or her team. So it's uh, really a play, a ping pong for the moment, for against, for against. Next, it will be the audience. So now it's the audience that will ask, have, uh, will, uh, ask questions or have comments for every single one. It's only 30 seconds. And again, there is a timekeeper uh, on that. There will be a microphone. So please wait that you have the microphone before uh, you ask your uh, question. So it can be either for the proposition for the opposition or a general comment. So, uh, or a, a question that you ask for both parties. Again, we have five minutes in total. The next one, the third speaker of the opposition team needs to summarize the most important questions and comments from the audience. Identify the main arguments between the debate and give reason for voting for his or her team. So when you will ask your question, you won't have an answer. You will have your answer only through the last speaker. 
Lastly, the third speaker from the proposition team summarized the most important questions and comments from the audience, identify key points of clash, give reasons for voting for his or her team. Right, a little things when you are not used to uh, debating. Point of information. So it's a short interjection addressed to the debater who is speaking by a member of the opposing team. So as you can see on the picture, the opposing team members must first stand up and indicate that they wish to offer a point of information. And they may say point of information. And after the opposing team members can accept or reject the POI. So the rules are you have a maximum of two POIs per speaker. The POIs are not allowed during the third speaker speech because it is a summary. And POIs are not allowed during the first minute and the last minute of every speech. I know it's a bit boring that I explain all of that, but after it will, uh, you will understand why people are standing up and uh, doing st strange things. So at least it's, uh, it's clear for everybody. Right, the moderator. I, maintain, uh, ma I will maintain order and enforce rules, so I'm going to be very strict, you'll see. Uh, intervenes only when necessary to respect the rights of each debater. So if somebody is really trying to continue speaking after the five minutes, I will uh, stop the person uh, from speaking. And uh, I'm not taking part in the, in the debate. The timekeeper, Clément, after one minute, he will raise a green card. So the opponent team can now ask for POIs. At, the f at minute four, he will raise a red card, and POIs are no longer uh, allowed. And at the five minutes, he will raise two cards, and that's it. That's time over for the speaker. Right. We are also going to vote. The aim of this debate also is to convince the audience of um, voting for uh, either uh, for the uh, proposition or the opposition. So we'll ask you to vote before the debate and after the debate. <coughs> Sorry. So if you are again, uh, if you are uh, uh, in favor of the motion, you will raise your uh, green card. And if you are against the motion, you raise your red card. Right, and we are going to do it before we start the debate and after uh, the end of the debate. Mm -hmm. 